Where's Miss Casey? I'm right behind you. But just barely, it's hard to keep up with eight-year-old Carmen Blakely. Casey? Yeah. Which news organization are you from? I'm from Wave 3 News. Carmen takes me through the halls of Breckenridge Franklin Elementary with complete ease. Under my jumper. Under your jumper. You're nice. She'd tell you we have that in common. I'm very nice to people. I do all my work. I, I have a cat at home. Qualities of your typical eight-year-old girl, but Carmen was born without sight, meaning she's feeling her way through the world around her. And Carmen has septo-optic um, dysplasia. Thank you, Carmen. Dysplasia, and um, Carmen has has been um, blind since birth, and so um, I was diagnosed with septo-optic dysplasia when I was six months old. Okay, there we go. So in addition to second grade, Carmen spends additional time learning to read and write Rolling. in Braille. Well, I like to write stories more often, but for today, this one, I might write a list of names. Casey. Come here, fill it. Casey. And if you can't tell by now, she happens to be great at it. Braille is hard. Um, so we no, it's not. <laughs> Carmen is one of 50 people in the entire country that's a winner in this year's Braille Challenge. And I'm one of the finalists to go to Los Angeles. Carmen will compete in California in two weeks, and we have a feeling she'll do pretty well. Then one day in his own good time, Leo bloomed. After all, she's racing through the world around her. <laughs> one that might be unfamiliar at times but a world that gets bigger every day. Follow me, Casey. 